So what I wanted to talk about today was we were talking on our live about a great way to do some analytics and look at a post. And this is a way that people can use to personally examine some of your posts and figure out, are you doing good? Are you not doing good? And so I just thought this would be awesome. We can look at one of your posts and look at one of my posts because okay. that gives an, a, you know, a, a good impression because you have way more followers than me. So it's, it's good because then we're truly comparing how would you see stuff versus how I would see stuff on my own. Does that make sense? That's, that, that sounds fine. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll look at it on a broader perspective uh, because I'll just look at it in terms of time frame. Now for me, a week, seven days is probably just one post. Okay. So, but I'll look at it on a broader sense, the way that I answered it in the comments as well, in terms of you can actually take this out as far as a year's worth of time and look wow. at the percentages that way as well. Okay. Wow. So it, it, but it's easy. You just, it all starts from, you could either start at a post level, which is maybe what you should do. But what I'm okay. going to do is start from the homepage level. So okay. from your homepage at any given time, these numbers are going to constantly be updated uh, be, depending on what time frame that you look at them. You know, it, uh, they may even be updated. If I hit the F5 key, they might give me a different number depending on, you know, again, how, uh, how, current the refreshes but this is usually for me this is where i start because i'll click on this number okay or i'll click on this link and that takes me to this piece of analytics which Got you it. can do this from your dashboard on your profile as well but Got this it. takes me to the last and it defaults to the last seven days okay so what happens here is that what i do then is a really quick little calculation i take just looking at the last week's worth, that's one post for me. Okay, it could be more if you if you post more than once a week. But what I do is I take the number of engagements and divide it by the total number of impressions. Okay. And I've got a quick little calculator. You probably can't even see this calculator. Yeah, I the, can. I can. Yeah. I, it's displaying well, on the screen. It's great. That's perfect. Thank you. That's good that it's actually popped up. So I just take 104 okay, engagements, divide that by 2685. And there's my percentage. So for the last week, I have been doing 3.87% as an engagement percentage. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Now let's change, let's change that up just a little bit. And let's talk about the fact that you can, if you want to look at this on a much broader time frame perspective, all the way out to a year. Mm. Okay? And my numbers may not be as big as anybody else's, but the numbers are not what I'm looking at here. The engagement percentage is what I'm looking at. Got it. So when I show this results, it's going to come up with these numbers instead. 10,000 divided by 275. So again, meanwhile, back here, okay, I'll clear this one and I'll do the new calculation. 10,198, whoop, back up, 198 divided by 275,969. Hit the enter key. And overall, it's slightly wow. lower, but it's still 3.7% over the entire year. And my, my contention was that if you did that and you were getting somewhere between three and 5%, you were doing just fine. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you could basically do that on a post by post basis. Like I'd like to just go try my last live because today's too recent. So that would be seven days. So let me yeah. just see if I can do that last live. Okay. Yep. So, so there's your, so view your analytics there. Okay. So click view analytics. Yep. So the same calculation happens. Now, in this case, it doesn't put them all together for you. So what you end up having to do is add reactions to comments, okay. to shares, and then okay, do the so, divide. So in the calculator, okay, okay. add 54. There we go. Okay. okay. 54 <laughs> plus 209. That's your number of comments. Okay. Plus five okay. divided by. So should I equal that nope, first? No, nope. divided by. Just hit the. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Now you'll have to hit the divided by and hopefully it'll work. Okay. Divided it really by. Is, okay. Yeah. Divided by the 200, 2780 impressions. 2780. Oh. I'm calculator dyslexic. That's okay. That's fine. You're doing fine. Okay. Okay. Now so two six, is that right? 268 yep. divided by 27. 27. Yep. 
yeah, and then it's going to be like a 10 percent which is huge yeah 9.64 percent i knew it would okay. be a big number so you're okay. doing absolutely fantastic now lives might do slightly differently than regular posts might do slightly differently than you know etc right okay so this but is basically know, so you, so it's in summary what we did was what did we add again because i was so busy with the calculator reactions comments reactions. and shares okay? okay or just use the engagement number which it totals for you in the other version that we did okay and okay. Then divide that by the number impression of impressions which is the number of times that your actual post has been seen and i would okay. expect lives to be be higher because lives are meant to be interactive and generate a lot of comments and, and it, practically every one of your lives generates about 200 comments anyway so okay all right yeah all right well that number. that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so I, you know i think i think we wanted that visual because i think for a lot of people they'll be like what you know like sometimes you really do want to see something stepped out so that you can kind of go wait a minute my brain can't follow that and yeah. i think visually seeing that you can go <laughs> And look at the overall per week, per month, you know, all the different ways that you can break that down all the way down to your like over the last year, how you're doing stuff. And then yeah. on a post by post basis, I think that really is a great yeah. way for people to get some analytics and especially too, it could, especially the one that you showed, I think that that would really be a good thing for somebody who's maybe not really been very active on LinkedIn and then has made a decision they want to be more active on LinkedIn. Yep. How could they measure their progress yeah, in terms of here's time. my baseline and now I've been doing all this stuff. Here's where I'm at now. So I think yep. that that really could be a very helpful tip. Yeah. And it will change, as I said before, it will change based on the type of post you're talking about, based on the time frame you're, that you're looking at. I'm glad that you did one that was related to lives. OK, because obviously, if you're talking about engagement, that's one of the things that people really want to try is lives because they're meant to be engaging. Right. They're meant to right. have the people involved, but, but still being involved and and having them do the comments at the same time. You know, it's, it's two different things. They, you could have a lot of listeners without having a lot of comments. But in this case, OK, 10 percent is a huge number when it comes to that overall you know, posting kind of thing. Because if you did what I did earlier and looked at your entire last year, it would be, it would include the lives, but it would also include every other kind of post that you'd ever done as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the number would probably go down, I would guess. I don't know. We, right. We would have to try right. to prove okay. that. Okay. Okay. And then maybe this could be also a really good way for people. Like we talked about having a variety of content. And maybe it's like you could try something. So you could do a slider, you know, like I, I'm finding document posts are really good for me. So I could look at my maybe last two or three document posts and say that's a piece of content I wanted to try, see what my engagement is, and then compare that with like a text post or something exactly. like that. And yep. then you'd begin to see this one doesn't work well for me. You know, you might say, well, you know, I think it was Debbie, it was Debbie Weems who said, I don't know, I've tried polls, they just don't work for me. Yeah. So I think that that yeah. can happen. And this could give you the analytics that you'd say, yeah, you're right. It, they don't work. It's not. Yeah, it's not happening when I use a poll. Yep. Yeah. As an yeah. example. Okay, super, super. 